thought I'd do a quick review on this Raid Garage Auxiliary Tank. I've got a 2019 KTM 690 Enduro. And uh, I got it basically stock. And I've added a variety of different things to it. And one of the items I added was this Raid Garage Auxiliary Tank. Because I really want to expand my capacity stock. This tank I think is about, on the rear is like 3.6 gallons. And since I want to do more long distance, you know, VDR, adventure, dual sport type rides, I felt I need to figure out a, a, a solution to expand my fuel capacity. And I didn't want to do anything, I really didn't want a roto packs on the back, even though I have one, but I, I really didn't want to add any more weight on the back. I like the idea of adding this, uh, adding the fuel up front so I have a little bit more balance. And so I took a look at some of the videos out there. I know there's some from Tori's Trails and a few other folks, and they were really helpful um, to give me some clues as to what this is all about. And of course, I uh, interacted with the Raid Garage folks uh, through email, and they were really helpful, great, great support. Um, read a lot of the material, watched a lot of videos, and watched videos several times, quite honestly, to get an idea of how to install this. So it was new to me and I, I went ahead and just kind of methodically took my time through it and and was able to get it installed and it's it's really nice and clean and you know you pretty much put your fuel here and it's again it's a one point one and a half gallons. This whole thing replaced the air filter system. The air filter system was now replaced with this twin air uh, filter system. I went ahead and had one of these little uh, pre-filters that I oiled and put on there. And so, you know, this this is a really clean design. Um, and it came with a, sh a heat shield on the bottom. I will say that, you know, when you run it, and it, especially if you're running it, you know, really slow, and you're going to get some heat. So I think the gas is still going to boil a little bit. And that's pretty common with, with a lot of dirt bikes I know that I've had in the past, especially the four strokes, they get a little warm. Um, but what I did is, is I did not integrate this into the existing fuel pump system. I basically ran a hose from here all the way down. Here's the hose. And I basically, it just I just plugged it into this uh, Finici um, uh, billet gas uh, cap system. I did not use the hose that came stock with the uh, Raid Garage. That hose was actually too large in a diameter, so I went to my local bike shop and got bought about a meter of a 3 16th uh, fuel hose, and I zip-tied the ends to each point. Of course, I had excess, excess hose, so I just cut it off, and you know, I have a zip-tied here, zip-tied under here, and that really is all it took. I mean, <laughs> that's about as simple as you can as you can get. And you know, every time I've I've ridden, I've been kind of monitoring, and just this just goes down, and you fill it up again. And of course, it's going to deplete this before it starts depleting the gas in the back. Um, with this system, this forms a vacuum, so it's just going to suck the gas right through it. So overall, pretty pretty happy. One thing that uh, for those that are on the fence here, is these uh, braces you can actually put back on, and that'll actually help whether you're running a stock seat, I'm running a seat concept seat, but it just adds more stability, I felt, and it and it kind of filled in this gap here between sort of the frame and the seat, and I wanted a good, nice, clean, you know, stock looking uh, fitment. So, been pretty happy. The only other thing is, uh, is I have this sub mount system. So I actually had to drill around a little bit to get around that. There's, it looks like carbon fiber, like a cap here. So I actually had to drill, got a Dremel and just kind of drilled around here, around the, uh, the tower, um, uh, stump here. So, you know, it's, uh, it gave me the clearance that I needed and, um, uh, you know, the beauty of this is, shoot, I got over five gallons worth of fuel capacity now. And, uh, you know, if I'm averaging uh, 
40 to 50 miles to the gallon. I'm, I'm well over 200 miles plus. I guess on a good day, if I'm not really hitting it hard, I could be maybe even closer to 230 and above that. So that really is what I was trying to achieve is to get me a, at a minimum, a 200 mile range uh, between gas stops. Not that I want to push it if I can avoid it. I'm always the rider where if there's an opportunity to put gas in your bike, you do it. But in the event I get in a situation where I can't, uh, at least hopefully I'm not going to be stranded and be in a position where I'm out of fuel on the side of the road. So anyway, for those who are wanting uh, an interesting, you know, alternative way of adding capacity to their 690, and this is true whether it's a 19 or even earlier, uh, consider these raid this raid garage solution. I've been I've been pretty happy with it. Um, I'll put a link to this uh, in the video uh, in the description of the video, and it'll it'll just take you to their website. And it'll be easy to uh, to order from there if y'all want to. So anyway, I'm gonna slowly kind of do a kind of a, a video on all the different parts that I added and give you my thoughts, what I liked about it or what I didn't like about it, and. Um, Go from there. That's all for now. Thanks.